Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today I wanted to uh, roast a few, uh, three years of these corn here and so first thing you gotta do and of course we'll do it in Ninja Infinity Deluxe and so the first thing you gotta do is get, get these things shut just like this shucking corn. Now most of these are pretty small ears of corn. Of course it's December and they're pretty much out of season I guess. So you have to get what you can get, you know. But now for long it'll be It'll be corn season around here and you'll be able to get some really good sweet corn. I don't know how this is going to be. I just wanted some some uh, roasted corn here in this foodie. So we're going to see how this turns out. I didn't get too much of that stuff in my coffee cup over there. <laughs> so, I set this aside for the time being. Okay, now the next thing I want to do, I want to take this little scrub brush here, get them over here in the sink with this water, and clean them up a little bit more. Next thing I want to do is get my knife down here. I'm going to cut the ends off these just a little bit, not much though. Like that. Like I say, not much, just uh, where it looks bad. There's a couple more of them little silky threads. Get those off. This is not, like I said, this is not the best corn I've ever seen in the world, but it's all this season, so anyway, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put these three years of corns down this Ninja Fuji basket here, and so they fit perfect in there. Matter of fact, I could really get another one in there if I wanted to, see how they See how they fit down there. You can, now these are about the average size corn. That's the biggest corn we could find when we were looking to find something to do this with. And this one here goes just a little bit less than seven inches. So it fits down in that Ninja Foodie basket perfect. Just like that. You know, all three of those do. I might put one more down there. I don't know. So let me see what we'll do next here. Okay, I went ahead and put another piece in there. That put four down that uh, 
ninja foodie basket there. Just make sure you put the biggest ones in the middle and the little ones on the sides and you'll be all right. Now the next thing we got to do is get this uh, basket down this uh, ninja foodie over here. Okay, now the next thing I want to do, I've got some of this, I can't believe it's not butter in this uh, spray container here. I'm going to take and spray on this corn here. Pretty little bull amount. Right, make sure you got I can't believe it's not butter on there. Alright, now we're about ready to start cooking this stuff. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and we're going to turn the power on this Ninja Foodie Deluxe. And we'll come over here and we'll turn the knobs that goes down to this bake roast. And, the, and this little indicator light will come on here. Now I like it's 375. I'm going to leave it at 15 minutes, but I'm probably not going to leave it in there without turning it over or something. So then we'll shut the lid. Hit the start button. And there it goes. Now we're going to be checking this periodically because to tell you the truth, I don't know how long it's going to actually take in here. But when I, when I open the lid, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it a little bit and put some more, I can't believe it's not butter, spray on it. And so we're going to have some nice buttery roasted corn when we get finished, I hope. <laughs> so, wait you guys a second. If you can, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure appreciate it. And thank you very much to all you people that watches our videos. And thanks, uh, thanks again to all you people that... Uh, at uh, go start links and purchase this stuff from Amazon. That helps us a lot. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now we're down to about 20 seconds on this thing. I've been checking it periodically. Now, it looks fine. There's no burning or anything like that. So when, as soon as it stops, I'm going to open the lid and rotate it. I spray it down again with I can't believe it's not butter over there. I'm going to let it go again. You ought to be able to smell this stuff. This stuff smells delicious. Put butter on it down in there like that. So, we'll raise the lid. Oh, it's just starting to brown up. Let me see if I can get so you can see that real quick. That's looking real good. See how it's browning back in there? Oh, yeah. That's going to be some good corn, good corn. So let's get it rotated here, see what we can do next. Let's see if I can leave the camera there while I rotate it. I might have to move it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's so slick down there. All you got to do is just push the edge like that and it just rotates around. Now the thing about it is with this Ninja Foodie, you've got to pay attention to it because most of the time what you see on the top is what you got on the bottom. That's because the way this is designed, that basket down there, it rotates that air around it. And so when it starts browning on the top, usually it's browning on the bottom too. So you can see this is getting off to a good start here, so it's not going to be much longer. I'm going to put another 15 minutes on it, but I don't think it'll take that long, but we'll see. Okay, then I'm going to take my, can't believe it's not butter again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. All right, then we'll shut the lid. And we'll leave it just like it is, 375 for 15 minutes on bake roast. Now we'll hit the start button. And there it goes. So now we got to start keeping a better eye on it now because it's starting to brown up. And like I say, if it's browning on one side, it's browning on the other. So we'll be back. Okay, now it's been cooking just a little bit over 21 minutes total here, so I'm going to take a piece of this out and let it cool for a little bit and try it just to see. I think it's done. And it sure does smell good. I'm going to take the very biggest piece out here let it sit there for a minute. I'm 
while it's sitting there I'm going to take my antique butter dish here put me a little margarine on there let it settle in I'll tell you right now I don't know if y'all like corn or not but if you do you'll have to try this this right here is going to be good now I know all of y'all are saying I can do the same thing in the oven and you probably can do the same thing in the oven but it's going to cost you about five or ten times as much in electricity to do it in the oven as it did with this and you're going to be heating up your whole house up when this here you don't even as far as the temperature goes in your house you never know it's even on so like I say you can do it in the oven but you know <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> we'll be back as soon as that cools off where I can pick it up <laughs> okay now I think I can get a hold of it right here so I'm gonna see if I can pick it up and get a bite of it without burning myself hmm that is delicious. I can't wait till it cools down just a little bit more. But I'm going to clean that cob off in about three or four seconds. Well, that's some good corn right there. Mm-mm. Let you see over here in this uh, bottom of the rest of it. See how it's all browning up there and looking so nice and, and juicy? That is delicious corn. So, thanks for watching my little video. I hope you enjoyed it near as much as I did uh, making it for you because I, I sure did and I'm sure going to enjoy eating this corn. And hope you come back and see me real soon. I hope you try this because this is really delicious. And so, until I see you next time, y'all have a real good and safe day now. And goodbye. Oh boy, that's good. I'm going to tell you what, one down, three to go. If Kay don't hurry up and get home, she might not have any of this corn when she gets home. <laughs> so until next time, so long now.